Welcome back. Today we're reviewing 2023 Mayor Pingree Valentine Distillery, the Alina Bottle, 94 proof, next on the channel. Welcome back. Like I said earlier, we we're doing the 2023 Mayor Pingree Alina Bottle, 94 proof. This is a, a com composition of MGP and Valentine Distillery's own distillate. Inside this bottle is 10 year, five year old, 85% six year old, and 5% of eight year old bourbon whiskey. So let's take a look at the back. It says this bottle of whiskey is a marriage of our own Ferndale, Michigan, triple pot distilled bourbon and the finest in Lawrenceburg, Indiana, MGP or now Ross and Squibb, traditional columns distilled bourbon casks. We are honored to share these rare and exceptional barrels with you. So I was able to pick this up, believe it or not, here at my local Meyer for, I think it was $40, $50 with tax. As you can see, it says five years on the bottle, but that's the minimum. Like we just said, there's 85% six-year-old bourbon inside. Don't know if it's MGP. I'm guessing more it's, uh, I think, possibly their distillate. But there's also eight-year-old in here. It's a mash bill of 60% corn, 36% rye, and 4% malt. See, I've had a little bit out of it. Um, when I got it, I was actually, I was shocked that I had a five-year-old MGP and Valentine Distillery, Mayor Pingree, sitting on the shelf. When I just went there today to pick another bottle up, there was literally six of them. So if you're at a local Meyer in Michigan, pick it up. And trust me when I tell you, you will not be disappointed. So we've talked about the bottle. We've talked about the history. We talked about the mash bill. Like I always say, what's the juice like inside? Let's find out. I mean, this is, you can see here it's a light amber. But she's got legs. She's got some thick legs. She's a big girl, but it smells delicious. Has a vanilla, a toffee note. There's a little hint of nutmeg. But when I first opened this and it had even off the neck rip, I got a, a six year old uh, Mayor Pingree over there and a black label Mayor Pingree. And this is right up there with them. This was shockingly good. Got into the nose. Let's get into our first taste. See, that is just coats the mouth. I mean, as Matt Porter would say, top, bottom, tongue, under the tongue, everywhere. It is so creamy, delicious. You get, it's just the sweetness that lingers on tongue. You get that vanilla, but it's a, like a warm vanilla. Like if you stuck your finger in warm vanilla extract, put it on your tongue. It has like a coffee, like a chocolate coffee cake. I know it sounds weird, but the finish is, is there. It hits the mid palate and just gently coasts down. There's little to no Kentucky hug. And for 94 proof, this is, this is delicious. I'm not going to lie. There's a little bit of smoke and a subtleness on the end of that smoke flavor and taste. Let's get into another taste. Yeah, that slight nuttiness is there, but that creamy, oaky, vanilla, savory note. Wow. For $50, I was expecting, okay, you know, it should be good. You know, Mayor Pingree, you know, I've got a couple bottles. I've got a Bourbon Junkies pick right over there. This competes with that one, and that, that was good. I also have that, there's a label that says 38. About the same label to compare, maybe... Are they the same? Oh, no. That one blows the label 38 off the map. Uh, that has that, uh, I'd say, three to four-year-old bourbon taste. But this, you definitely could tell there's some older whiskey in there with that taste. It's just, and it's, that taste is, that the finish is still going. If you can find this at $50 at your local Meyer, buy one, buy a backup. This is absolutely delicious. I'm your host, Brian. It's the Average Whiskey Drinker Channel. Like I always say, Find a bottle, open the bottle, enjoy the bottle, because good whiskey is always meant to be shared. Thank you so much for watching. Like, subscribe, share, and I'll talk with you all soon.